Hello, this is our new, newest version wall clock security camera, the very big version. Yeah, we also got two versions. One is the Wi-Fi version, features as below, and the one is the DVR version, features as below. We would like to introduce the Wi-Fi version today. Okay, let's open it first. Okay, in the package you will find the user manual for operation. For the Wi-Fi, the detail the user manual, and a fast, quick guide for you to do a faster operation of the camera. It's very easy and useful. The CD driver for watching the camera on PC. Also, we got a white box with some other accessories for the camera. Let's go to check it. A hook for you to hang a wall clock on the wall very easily. A USB card reader. You can read the card, micro SD card that is inserted in the camera to read the data. And the power adapter. It is CE rose and the UL, UL approval. Very safety for long time use. What's more, a three meter, very long USB cable for recording while charging. Yeah, now let's go to the main unit. It is a very classic design. See? And the glass is actually is very hard. You can even hit at it. It is very strong. Yeah, then let's operate the camera. In the side, you will find there is a LAN port for you to connect the camera to, to a net cable to your local local network very right? fast setup and the micro SD card for you to record into the micro SD card when you need also the USB port the on off button first you will need to turn on the switch let's turn on it and after after 30 seconds to 1 minute or so, you will, you will find there is a Wi-Fi signal from the camera in your phone's Wi-Fi setting. And the Wi-Fi name will be the same as the UID showing here. It is begin, begin with CMB555. Let's wait for a while. The camera is in starting, so we need a wire.
Okay. Then let's go to the phone setting. Sorry. Go to the phone setting and choose the Wi Fi. Then you will see the camera's Wi Fi. It is the CMB555. Click to connect. We need to wait the 4G becomes Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi symbol. Okay, we got the Wi-Fi symbol and then we go to the Pro Icon ABP. Connect the magnified glasses. You will see the new device of this camera. Okay, we see the camera is online. Click the camera and we need to change the password of this camera first. We change to one, two, three, four, another, one, two, three, four, press OK, and then we click the camera to enter the live video. Yeah, see, this is the live video of this camera, and then it is the P2P mode now. You don't need to connect the camera to Wi-Fi, you just connect the camera, connect the camera to your home to your phone without Wi-Fi and then you can check okay then let's go to the Wi-Fi setting oh, yeah one thing I need to explain more when you connect the camera you just you can press the take video do the take photo take video and then after you take the video and photo you can see in the Android Android phone the directory of the app and also if you use the iphone you need to connect to itunes to find the, the directory of the app then download the videos okay then let's go to the wi-fi setting click yeah click the gear symbol up the camera and choose the device setting wi-fi config and local Wi-Fi name okay then use input the local Wi-Fi password press OK it will ask you to connect to the local Wi-Fi press OK camera now is still rebooted so the camera now is in restarting and it will be connect to your local Wi-Fi very soon after a while we can see the camera online again after the camera is reboot now the camera is in rebooting so we see the camera is still logging when the camera is online we can see there is an online symbol here. Let's wait for a while.
Okay, the camera is connecting and it is online now. Let's click to check. Yeah, that means this camera has been connected to Wi-Fi. Then you can check live video anywhere in the world. So this is the Wi-Fi mode. And as mentioned before, you can check the check the video and the photo taken by your phone in your directory of the app which it is installed installed. Yeah. Also you can record the video into a micro SD card if you need. And if the camera is abnormal with something wrong, you just need to put on need and go to the reset hole press the reset hole for 5 to 8 seconds until the indicator turns off ok now the camera is in rebooting it will be restarted and go to the factory default setting then everything will be normal again ok that's all thank you